My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. You asked, and we delivered. Introducing the Dave Moss Tuning Subscription Channel on YouTube. All of Dave's premium content for one low price. Put one of the best suspension tuners on the planet to work for you. Find the link in the description box below and get started today. Tire warmers, how should you put them on? Great question somebody gave me. My personal preference is to locate your tire valve and then put the warmer above the valve on the nearest spoke. So it will go here and around that spoke and fasten it on that way. Why has it got to go to the spoke? Well, as you work the wheel around, you're going to use your knee on the wheel and pull the warmer tight. Do you want to pull against, if you have a rubber valve, do you want to pull against that valve stem? Absolutely not. So in this case, setting it against the spoke, I've got the wheel locked into my knee. I can pull this tight and I'm pulling against the wheel so I can afford to pull and stretch knowing I'm not stressing the tire valve. So let's get this whole one on. So that's done. Now why do I do that? Well, where's my valve? It's right here, right by the joint. So when I want to check pressure, I can do it here really quickly. I don't have to spin the wheel around and then our control unit here won't go past the fender. So putting that on above or below the valve, depending on where it is on your wheel, is going to be extremely helpful in making sure you can check pressure easily. Oh, and guess what? Your control unit, if you have multiple temps, is right next to the valve. So everything becomes much more accessible. Do exactly the same on the rear wheel and then functionally you can get everything done quickly because it's all located here. The next part, once we're up to temp, if your tire warmers are brand new then they'll probably get the tires hot. What if your warmers are two years old? Well let's warm these up because our Moto D's are two years old and let's see on high after 30 minutes with the Bridgestone what our tire temperature really is front and rear compared to what it was when it was brand new which is 180 F because I've already done a test on these which we published. So let's come back in 30 minutes and see what our tire temperature is. All right, so when we first bought the Moto D warmers, we did the tire temperature test. It was exactly as advertised. These are two years old. And all of you, for if you've frequented the stuff we do, I'm at the track all the time using these. And I mean, 150 days a year, these go on and are used every day. So after that much, what we should see is we had 30 minutes on high with the Bridgestones. What are we getting for temperature? 202, 206. So after two years and a few hundred track days, the front warmer is doing exactly as advertised. So now let's go to the back. Let's position that that way and the rear. 150. 150. 140. Now I'm going to check the other side. Well, actually, no, let's remove the warmer and go higher in. 160. 170. 175. 170. So the rear, while getting the tire hot at 170, which is operating temperature on the track, you want 170 to 190. The front's working better than the rear. One of the assumptions that we make that causes way too many crashes is that you pull the warmers off and you go out. You may touch the tire and to you fleetingly, it feel, yeah, it's hot and off you go. You need to check it and you need to check it every three, four months to make sure that when you go out in an allotted time period, you are getting the heat in the warmers 
through the tire to the right temperature and that doesn't mean on the surface that means five millimeters deep the other thing that you should check is that the wheel is warm by hand touch because the wheel will steal heat from the tire until such time as it gets hot and then it leaves the tire alone. So ensuring your wheel is hot to the touch is also really important in checking your warmers doing their job properly. So at this point, today, am I gonna check it again? No. I know I'm at 200 in the front and I'm at 170 in the back. That was the joint there, so pulling further back is a, is a truer test. I'm good for the day, I'm good for the next month and I'll check it again after that. If my warmers drop below 140 consistently, they're done. Time to go and get a new set and be done with it. These are items that will wear out. So check them frequently to keep yourself safe. Always have data points on your warmers. Been out on the track, done some laps. It's lunchtime. We need to put this back on the warmers. A lot of people put the warmers right back on. <clears throat> so you've got exposed electrical elements here that run across the tire. These need to impact and touch the tire because they're full of current and they heat the tire up. On the tire, we have a serious number of large rocks. With those rocks that we picked up when we left the track and came in, those are gonna make sure the element doesn't touch the tire whatsoever. So, that will set the tire warmer on fire or at least burn, have the element burn through the covering. So every single time front and rear you come in, get some gloves, get a brush, or just use your hand and clean the tire off to get rid of everything off the surface that is gonna make sure that the element actually does sit completely flat every single element completely flat against the tire. Now, a piece like that, which is rubber debris that you picked up off the track, that doesn't matter. That can stay in place. But these rocks, let's get rid of them. We don't need any of that. So now that the tire is nice and clean, now we can go ahead and put our warmer back on, ensuring that the elements on the warmer do heat the tire up with no risk of burning the warmer, ruining the tire warmer itself, or worse, having a fire. Are you using warmers? Yeah. Okay, okay. When you pull the warmer off, hand here. If it doesn't burn you, it's not working right. The tire is actually cold when you go out. That's why it slipped. So you can feel this now, right? Hold your hand flat hard and feel the heat coming through. Yeah. Now, when you take the warmer off, you should be only able to do that for a second and a half. And after that? 180 degrees and then it'll yeah. burn you. Okay. You don't want to get burned, but okay. it should be. And if you, can, if you can keep your hand on it, your warm is not working properly. Okay. You need a warm up lap. Okay. And that's why it slipped. I want to chase the ghost, right? So check your warmer now. Make sure both are very hot to the touch. Okay. So you wanted to check the temperature real quick? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. To make sure we're working. That's why it's not coming up to temp. It's not even close. Really? Yeah. I have their chicken off three ways are online. How old are they? I've only had them for maybe a year. Do you buy them used? Yeah. There you go. So every once in a while, you still need something like this to test that they are actually getting up to temp. Right. So the pressure we're trying to find here that we think is a hot pressure isn't even close. Right. I'm gonna pull two PSI out of the front. Okay. So yeah, periodically, it's really important to check that the warmers are actually doing their job. It might be just buy a new set. There we go. Let's see what it comes back in at. Um, the best warmers I've found that actually do the job for the longest are Moto D's. My buddy just got a set of them. Yeah. He likes them, so. 
two years in, uh -huh. 180 is still 180. Yeah. All right, so we're doing a little bit of an experiment. Ambient temps today should hit somewhere between 110 and 114. That ground temperature yesterday reached 158. So I put the, the wheels and tires for 30 minutes on the tailgate, which is extremely reflective and also hot. So heat's coming from the sun on the top side and from the trailer ramp on the back side. And they've been there for 30 minutes, which is what you'd normally do for Bridgestones on the warmers on a cold day with hot. So let's see what we got for temperatures doing this little experiment and whether you actually really do need warmers on a hot day like this. So. We'd want to see off track somewhere around 160. Certainly off the warmers, at least 160. So 125, 140 on the top edge of the tire, in the middle, slightly dropping into the 20s, underneath, even colder. So even though the ramp door is pretty toasty, the heat is not transferring through from the bottom to the top. So if this is the left side of the tire, it's warm, but it's nowhere near hot after 30 minutes. The danger of that is obviously the right side of the tire is cold. So in this instance, our ground temperature right now climbing 106. Okay, we'll let that go away. The ramp temperature 119, 120. So the ramp's actually hotter than the ground at the moment, but the heat's not transferring through. So just because it's warm outside, doesn't mean that the entire tire is getting hot. And just because the wheel is black, doesn't mean the heat is distributing from the wheel into the tire throughout the entire tire itself. So on the front, I wonder if we'll have, because there's less surface area compared to that, higher or lower temps. So 130, 120. So slightly lower, less tire surface available, slightly lower temperatures. So if we were to leave this at an hour, how much warmer would it get? All right, so another 30 minutes later, so a total of one hour. 140, 130, 120, 120. No real change there. 140, 140, 130, 1. Yeah, coming down to 120. So after one hour on the tailgate, it's still not hot enough. And the side that isn't in the sun, is nowhere near hot enough. So that's where the value of tire warmers comes in. This time of year with this heat, there's nothing wrong with putting the warmers on and leaving them off. They're insulated. That'll keep the heat on the wheel in the tire. And then before you go out, especially with a day like today, maybe your tire warmers go on to hot for 10 to 15 minutes maximum. Because the wheel's smoking hot, and that's the biggest part of using tire warmers is to get the wheel that hot. So bear in mind that very hot days, use your tire warmers judiciously and don't leave them on hot all day. Warm them up in the morning to get to the desired temperature and then use them or don't use them during the day depending on whether you keep the bike in the sun or not. That is too hot to touch right now. So that's gotta be 190, 180. Probably won't show it. No, it's not. It's only showing 114. Because I can leave my hand on this and it's it's warm, but it's not hot. But that, that's 
it's really hot. So bear that in mind on hot days. Track day or racing doesn't matter. Think about what's happening, what you've got, what temperature this is, and equalizing heat throughout the tire, but make sure the wheel's hot. Ramp temperature is 122. Wheel temp, 144 on the rear. And 139 on the front. No wonder it's so hot. So, this is useful for metal and ground, but this only gives you the surface temperature of the tire. So we need to go in five mil deep and get real carcass temperatures, not just what the surface is. Because you can't know what the tire temperature is without going four to five mil inside of it. Which is why at every national meet, every world level meet, you never see somebody using this for anything other than ground temperature. Tire temperature is done with the tool I use to get into the carcass itself. Don't know how many hours later we are now from when we originally shot this. Well, maybe, time is maybe the time code. I don't know what the time is. So Afternoon, I'm guessing it's been out here for three hours, maybe more. Last time we checked it was 140. Ha, 150. 153, 149, 143, 142. So it was 110 and less down here. So it's actually heat soaked through on the bottom, but the top's still the same. Let's go on that. Last time these were the same. 150, 150. 143, 136, 140. So, 10 degrees higher on average after sitting in the sun for three hours. So I guess the sun doesn't warm him up all that much, eh? Hot door, hot wheel, still need tire warmers just to get him up to temp and then keep them on the warm function. 60C, 130F, just to keep them warm and then blast them just before you go out. For 10 minutes, maybe 15, no more than that. I think we're at right around 106 right now, so it's hot. To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemostuning.com.